Hey guys, it's me, Kush, and I'm here with another reaction video. Today, we'll be reacting to the final trailer for Scoop. Now, I won't be saying a whole lot before I start this video because I already said a lot of my Scooby-Doo thoughts in the my first reaction to the first trailer. Uh, was there a second trailer? There might have been a second a trailer in between these two that I might have forgot to react to or I was too busy to, so I apologize if I did forget. But one thing I want to say before we start is, uh, I might have said this in my last video, but one thing I want to say is that while I have nothing against the idea of a Hanna-Barbera cinematic universe, I actually like it. It'll be something different. Just, it just... A big flaw it has is that they're already hinting of it being a cinematic universe in the trailers for this movie. I, I really don't like that. It's it, they're, they're forcing themselves to limit as much as they can put into this movie. That's one flaw. And it's like, oh, gotta get ready for the next film. That That's one flaw it has. I'm not saying I didn't like the first trailer. I, I loved it. That's one thing I had. One problem I had. Seems like everyone's trying to do their own cinematic universe nowadays. Nothing against the cinematic universe, just you, you sometimes it, people put too little into each film and then each movie in the cinematic universe seems the same. Uh, because the MCU was, was such a success, everyone's trying to mimic it. Again, nothing against the cinematic universe. I, I, the MCU, the DCE, which is getting better, the, the MonsterVerse, uh, those are the only like three ones, good ones I can think of. There has been others, but they've been, they, but there have been other, there have been other cinematic universes, but they've been canceled after the first or second film. <laughs> but but besides that, um, that's just one thing I want to say. Just you don't need to let everyone know it's a cinematic universe in the, the first trailer for the first movie in the in the universe. Just let it be its own film for right now. You can hint at it being a cinematic universe. Just try to be, make it its own film too. But anyway, let's get on with the trailer. Scoop, do you realize where we are? No. Look around, man. The clean, modern aesthetic, the cool blue color palette. We're in Ikea. The Falcon Fury. Did you say Ikea? Nope, I said Falcon Fury, just like you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. Shaggy and Scooby were taken? Yeah. I like Zach Efron as Fred, by the way. down from the sky and beamed them up. I can't. I, I can't breathe. I have to assume that if they were with their friends, they wouldn't have been kidnapped. Okay. Can you skip the emotional punishment? <laughs> what was some guy on Scooby and Shaggy? I don't know, but I'd like to shake the hand of whoever created this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, throw that hand in prison for trying <laughs> to kill our friends. <laughs> <laughs> This man just strays coming with me. He's not a stray. Okay, then. What's his name? His name's... Scooby. Middle name? Doobie? Last name? Doobie. Gentlemen, welcome aboard. This isn't about some guy in a rubber mask. I would have gotten away with this if it weren't for, for you meddling kids. This is about one of us. Nice. To the Falcon Fury. Falcon. Hang on, hang on. Turn on the lights. Where are my balloons, Dee Dee? When I say Falcon Fury, that's supposed to cue the balloons. Oh, great, great timing. You might want to buckle up. Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? He can lead us to our culprit. Jinkies. Apparently, he's been stealing Netflix by using his mother's account. <laughs> that is not fair for the rest of us who have to pay for Netflix. You have to pay for Netflix? Good joke. That's a good joke. If you want, you can pull over and drop us off here. <laughs> I guess our new movie is an origin story. Every hero should have one. I want The Rock to play me. <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> Well, that that was a pretty good trailer. The, the, the first one seemed kind of like a bit like too much like the first trailer, but after like the the, the first part of, the, 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 of this trailer seemed a bit a lot like the first one, but then see, it felt different, like how they met the people in the Falcon Fury. I forget the heroes' names. Maybe the Falcon Fury, but uh, the Falcon Fury, I think, is the plane. Just forget the, the, the superhero and the dog's name. 
So they're, they're finding out more of the stories that uh, they need the, the mystery gang's help, I'm guessing. Which is an interesting story. Still having the Scooby-Doo style, just a little more action to it. It's kind of like those um, direct-to-DVD animated films that uh, Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers used to make. Um, but yeah, the animation also looks really good, though the animation on the the bird guy, again, I'm sorry, I forget his name. It's, if it's Falcon Fury, just call me a stupid idiot in the co idiot in the comments. Uh, he, he looked he looked good there. I mean, I mean, I mean sorry, his an the the animation on him looked kind of weird. His design was good, just the animation on him looked eh sometimes. And uh, and for, I think they fixed Fred's face from the first um, trailer. I think they did. I'll need to look back at it. And like I said, I, I, I like Zac Efron as Fred. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Got an idea for my show? Send it to me in the email up there or the comments down there, and I'll put it into, into, and I'll put it into consideration. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day, guys.